Hello guys, it's time for another little blind reaction. Hello guys, it's time for another blind reaction. Another my little pony green dot reading called Mount Vellum Clubber, Bittersweet Apple Acres Redux Part Two. It is thirty minutes and thirteen seconds long. It is Friday the thirteenth of October. What a scenario of reacting on on the thirteenth on the Friday. I never think I've done that before. Okay, Applejack. What have you got um, installed for me? There's only one way to find out. Is to play the video. In three. In two. In one. Thank you, sweet bell. Hello, Fartshy. You do look cute there, by the way. Okay. okay. Sparrow presents. Help! Oh! Hello. Uh. Hello, Applejack. Smell the horrible content below him. him as he lunged forward. Is it on chains as well, like a like, like backhauls on their hands or hooves, and it'd be like that, like Jesus Christ or something. I hate that. I hate the um file. It's called. The disgusting taste from Applejack's tongue entering his mouth was still there as well. What was it? It was as if she were trying to suffocate him with her tongue that tasted like rotten apples. Ugh, that's disgusting. So far into his mouth that it was nearly down his throat. And even Crimson knew that this wasn't the only time he'd have to do Like, is that a kiss or something? Ugh. He was sure that he'd be facing much worse. The question was, how much worse would it get? Crimson then knew what the other I don't know, you s you soon find out. The smell of sex. 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 Short life when he had lost his virginity. The thought of him being forced to have intercourse with one of the demented Apple family members caused his entire body to quiver, following his limbs attempting to shake free. Of the Sexy machine. Applejack is also a no killer Applejack. Break free of the metal restraints, seeing the restraints were solid steel. Battery low. Really? Really? <sighs> it's a good job I got this in the mail today. Is that going to be long enough? So that's quite a short one. Charging battery. Hey, don't need to stop it. Okay, three, two, one, go. The wretch, but nothing came out. <coughs> nothing. Oh, that sort of sound of it. If intercourse was part of the torture, what else would he have to face? He'd soon find uh, caught sucking Applejack. Crimson was awoke by the sound of the slaughterhouse door opening, hearing Applejack's hooves against the concrete floor, making her way. Concrete floor. No, hay, no, like a hay floor. She was holding a plate with her right hoof, 
with some sort of content on the plate surface. Swords or um, apples? He even opened his eyes, so Applejack gave him a bit of a nudge. She grabbed a metal brand with the letters A F. A F. With the metal bar. A F. A F. Commanded Applejack. Crimson just remained. What? Just Are you gonna give him? The hard way. Let's turn it off. Charging battery. The hard way. The hard way. The brand sizzled against Crimson's flesh as he screamed from the brand burning his skin. Oh, he's getting burnt with with a like an iron something. As Crimson opened his eyes, his body tensed up against the metal restraints. Oh, that's painful on the asses, wasn't it? Applejack just looked up at Crimson with an annoyed look on her face. No, he's awake. Okay, fucker. She said, "Yes," replied Crimson. I prefer you call me your sweet Applejack. Yeah. Oh my! Don't get me started. Right. Crimson did not bother arguing. By him calling her anything sweet made him want to gag. Sweet Applejack. Sweet, um, semen. She yelled. Yes, my sweet Applejack! Yelled Crimson, both his flanks burning like fire. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Shigga. Oh my gosh. We're going to play a game called Dinner Time. She oh. said playfully. What that involved? Did not like the sound of the game Applejack was playing with him. I don't him because I'm getting something down my, my down there which I can't no. <laughs> what kind of game is it, my sweet Applejack? As Crimson. Um, cot sucker. The rules are simple. All you have to do is not gag or spit out the food. Explained Applejack. Crimson looked at the food on the plate. What is like the food? Pulled out of a trash can and put on a plate. Where is it? He wanted to gag, but refused the urge to. What if I do, my sweet Applejack? He asked, not wanting to know. You're gonna get tortured. That's what. No, we don't, children. We don't you to kill. She was going to do whatever she could to torture him, while not killing him. Crimson knew that he was going to get. And I'm. She's going to kill him in the end, isn't she? The food was making him sick. What exactly is on the plate? Asked Crimson. Good quick. Well, I told you earlier, just before I left. They didn't, did you? Low on hearing, I'll repeat myself. It's apple liver. Immediately. <laughs> Apple! <laughs> You're making me fucking gag a bit. Too angry. That's not very nice. She said, cutting him slowly across the upper chest. Oh. Applejack placed a bucket beneath him to catch the blood, seeing that was what he was being used for. Crimson attempted to stop screaming. His blood is going to make um the jam, isn't it? The apple liver into his mouth. Ugh. The taste of it immediately caused Crimson to gag, resulting in another cut just above the abdominal area. Once again, blood came gushing out of the wound as Crimson started to scream and quiver. Applejack was growing tired. We so die from the blood? Why don't you shut up, Applejack? Oh! Yeah, you just fucking punched me now, didn't you? Okay! 
Oi! Spiked Crimson's mind, remembering the smell of sex being present. He knew very well what she was talking about, so he either had to somehow get past her sick dinner games, or would be forced to have sex with her. He immediately silenced himself, looking into Applejack's eyes, seeing only pure evil. I see you're caught on. No open wide, sugar. Unless you prefer the other option, said Applejack with a smile. Other option? Crimson opened his mouth. What is the other option? liver into his mouth. The taste was horrible, but he somehow managed to swallow the content without gagging. How is it? She asked. Disgusting. Sweet Applejack. He lied. Yes. Such a sweet one. Hear that, Crimson? It says it's delicious. She said, preparing another. You can't see through the lie. Applejack laughed. Shoving another bite into Crimson's mouth. Crimson had become fond of the taste, so it didn't bother him anymore. It tasted disgusting, but it was better than envisioning himself having intercourse with one of the Apple family's own kin. Oh, she's gonna do that, alright. Had grown bored, seeing Crimson was actually doing what she said. The apple liver was gone, which was a relief to Crimson. This torture section. Was finally now you got to pull that out as well. He thought it was until Applejack stood inches from his face. She stared at him with a seductive grin. What are you doing, my sweet Applejack? He She's trying to make you horny. <laughs> she replied with an evil giggle. Ready for what? He had become scared, not knowing what Applejack had in To have a sexual intercourse! Her just below him? More torture? She closed into him Sex is the torture. Soft, it's called rape. Rape for a reason. Breathing in his face. Her breath was warm and smelled like death. Oh god! To the sack that had been placed over his head. Oh, now you're talking! Some people might be... She said. Crimson looked down as she said, not wanting to risk anything. You gonna rape me? You gonna fucking rape me? Or you gonna rape him? He had an erection. Caused from rubbing against him. You're not the only one! He begged. Some people would kill for that, but oh my god! She moved back and forth, hearing Crimson's pleas for her to stop, even starting to cry. That is a, that is a weird echo effect on the laugh. Oh my god! Had cut into Crimson Flash, leaking down his body and into the bucket as Applejack continued to move back and forth. The cries for her to stop only made her speed up until finally. She felt crimson climax in her. Oh. That wasn't enough for her. No? She continued to move back and forth, feeling herself start to come close to climax. Basically, she's forcing sex onto his cock. One. Hello. And sprang all of her body liquids onto crimson flesh. She even managed to get some into her Two. Causing him to gag. Applejack stopped him right there. She commanded. Crimson could not do anything, so he just listened to Applejack and swallowed her body liquid. Oh. Um, who I orgasm juice? Apple juice? Yes, I'm gonna fucking kill you and fuck you first. Ah, yeah, I'm talking to you, Mark Ida. Uh, that's Irish. Irish? Applejack. You made me get a fucking rea reaction. You made me get that fucking react um react um cop gone up. It's not my fault if I got erection as well. Very dirty, probably saucy and yeah. 
Crimson peeked his eyes open, confused on where he was at first. But once he came to realization, is it would be like, is it, 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 how would you know if it's morning? If he's in the, in the torture chamber, is it late in the night? Liver, yeah. And it wouldn't surprise Crimson if they were. No, the knife was probably used on many other past victims. That that knife could be infected, you know. The thoughts of the methods made him shiver, causing his limbs to surge in pain from them pounding against the hard steel. After a few minutes, he attempted to calm himself, hearing the sound of only the wind creeping through holes in the barn. Bombwood. From the wind's force. He had never felt so weak in his entire life, and Crimson had had many weak moments in his short life. If she's gonna just gonna leave you there and die, or she's gonna let you, you're gonna die anyway. You're gonna die. Don't, don't worry. You're gonna fucking die. Maybe through the torture device. Oh, is this a backstory? Action. Oh my god. Immediately causing everything to go south for the Flash family. The fatality. It happened in the Flash! While young Crimson was too young to even know what was going on. At first, Hazel had thoughts of suicide, but knew that Crimson needed her, and suicide would only make things worse for the young fool. Yeah. Suicide is never the. It is the last result. <laughs> Yeah. But no pony knew of the horse that happened beyond the barn doors, so no pony suspected anything. How did they find? Okay, how did? What happened to Apple Bloom when they? Apple Bloom. We back in the last episode. Apple Bloom spilled the beans. She's dead. The following day, Applejack came alone and lied through her teeth that there had been a terrible accident on the farm. Yet the pony believed her and her story was believable. She claimed that the ponies were helping to lift bales of hay, and just out of nowhere, hey, the you sure that's true? Over and landed on the ponies that had volunteered, snapping their necks. Ooh. Basically, she's a fucking suicide. Murderer or serial killer. I know. Why don't you get some Applejack cereal? Sorry. But from the description that she had given in the true story, it was beyond anything Aphelia's young as Applebloom should even know about. The words were still burned into Crimson's mind. Is that a problem? Isn't 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 Disgusting, rotten apple. 
Apple Bloom pleaded for mercy, but through her pleas, Apple Jack did the unthinkable in front of Ponyville. She placed her hoof on Apple Bloom's small neck and pressured down on it until there was a snap. Oh! every pony's eardrums for the rest of their lives. You fucking evil cunt! Ponyville has been in fear of the Apple family, unable to do anything about the family's twisted. You killed Apple Bloom! How fucking. Sorry about that. How f fucking hell, man? How fucking dare she? Jack changed then. So he quickly answered Apple Jack. It was okay, my sweet Apple Jack. He lied. Apple Jack expressed a normal smile. And she can't see through the lie? Time figuring out if Apple Jack was just playing with his emotions or if she was actually being nice. She's not nice. Yeah. Crimson looked at her confused. Do you love me? Yesterday, she was branding his flanks, drowning him, slicing him open if he gagged, breaking his bones, and even forcing him to have sex. Now, here she was, the same Applejack, being polite. Crimson couldn't let his guard down. Is it? The Apple family Moose wings! And knew how to give their prey false hope. Oh yeah? She had to be playing with him. What sort of game? Was she playing a bipolar game? Well, are you going to ask? Or just sitting there all day with a stupid look on your face? Ask Applejack. Sorry, my sweet Apple Just Jack. ask the question. It's fine. Just ask already. Crimson didn't want to push his limits. So he went on with his question. Something. No pony. I'd just like to know. What made your family become... Evil. He asked. Applejack looked at him funny, then proceeded to answer him. Finally, a question that no pony has ever asked. She said. Crimson was shocked. No pony ever asked that? He said. No. No, no I think they're too scared to. Well, said Crimson. I'll tell you while you're in your pancakes for me. Is that fair? I suppose, he said. Applejack shoved a bite into his dry mouth. Okay. Well, it all started one day during apple bucket season. It was a normal day. Nothing different. I was finishing up in the orchard and my bacoos fell like they were full of lay. Oh. I finished bucking the final tree. Well, You've been bucking a tree. It was no surprise to me seeing I face multiple strains before. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous work you do. Okay. As he ate the pancakes, Where's he going? Anything bad about the pancakes? Only that they tasted like regular pancakes. Applejack continued with the story. I thought it was empty, but it turns out there was one apple in that basket. I had no idea that my hoos were related, and the blood had actually soaked the apple. Still, I decided to have myself a. The blood is the poison? Oh, it irons in the blood, yeah. You love the taste of the blood. The blood is the poison. 
There's more to it. There must be. Yeah, there's more to it, isn't it? False. The blood it has to be blood. The blood goes into the like the, the into the mixture. The blood is the in secret ingredient. It has to be. Which blood is it though? Is it the iron inside the blood? Your blood? Is your blood in the in the apple sauce then? Until. Who saw you? You have to kill the pony so he can't spread the secret. The story had just taken a scary turn, and Crimson knew that they had to be coming close to the end. To Applejack continued. She had to kill the pony or murder the pony. He still couldn't tell the type of game Applejack was playing. How much blood? It's about ninety percent blood, isn't it? In the blood, in the in in the bloody, in the bloody, in the body. Twenty jars. Your blood is going to be in the source, basically. But will it will it taste different for each person? Because you what what what, what plans? He's a blood collector. It's like leeching, isn't it? Ugh. Screamed from the blade's slow movement. 
Applejack was making sure that Crimson felt every bit of the pain. <sighs> how much blood is going to... I can't just... I can't imagine how much blood is going to pull, pull out now. The blade would sink deeper into his flesh, causing him to start breathing heavily and scream more and more. Why has to be pony blood? What do you all die by now because of the blood loss? Surface of the bucket, Crimson felt as if he was done for, but the incision that Applejack had made was not enough to kill him. No. As the blood fell into the bucket, Applejack added to the torture and reopened the wounds she had made with the knife the night before. Okay, it's like. Into the bucket below. That is very disgusting, really. That you bastard! Crimson struggled to stay conscious, causing Applejack to get irritated. Tell me I'm sweet! She commanded. You're not fucking sweet, you're fucking murdering cunt! Applejack slapped him again, giving the same command. You <laughs> see how you like it! See how you fucking like it! You hit him so hard. You're sweet. He yelled with every punch. You're not sweet. She said calmly. Just when Crimson thought he was safe, this time. That sounds like Christmas a bit, but yeah. To be continued! Written by Sparrow 9642. Edited by Sparrow 9642. Agent Fluffy Applejack slash Apple Bloom. Sparrow 1942, Crimson Flash. Thomas Mitten as Big Macintosh. What the hell, man? What the fuck, Applejack? Man, well, can you find out the blood? It's basically the secret ingredient that goes into the applesauce. And if I don't mind if I do this just for this reaction, I love you, but... I know it's just reaction, but... You're gonna hurt me now. You killed Apple and you. I should... It's just a reading, I know it's just a reading, but this, I find pleasure just... You know what? You see this, yeah? You gone there for a moment. Um... Yeah. Jesus Christ! Um... Okay, with the, not much um, sex scenes at the beginning. Okay, but now it's not too bad. They, they give me a little hard spot. Uh, but to find out that she killed Apple Bloom by si si uh, basically cr cracking her neck, that is dark. And uh, no one's trying, not even trying to, st no one's actually trying to stop her. If this happened in Manhattan, the police officer will come, there will be police officers. Ponyfield doesn't have a police force, do they? Or do they? Um. Okay, I like the reading. It was a bit saucy, the, the, the sex scenes, but the way she murdered ponies and how she uh, found out um, killing was basically what she enjoyed. I'm like, she's got issues. Applejack's got issues. And 
And if I was there, I'd be like, ah, oh, I'd be dead. I know I'd be dead if I was there. <sighs> well, sorry, Applejack, you deserve that for the for now. I know it's just a, I know it's just a, a reading, guys. I know it's not real. But to Applejack to kill Apple Bloom, you're out your fucking mind. Well, hope you like this reaction or my reactions I do, and I will see you next time. Oh, yes.